All right, Poirier Gaethje, a lot of this is what we thought it was going to be, right? We kind of knew going into this fight, here's two guys with a great output. Who's going to land their shots on the other guy? We kind of knew that. If it went 25 minutes, we'll leave that to the judges, but likely somebody's going to fall down. Somebody did. I want to show you why. If I use my partner, Jake, here. Dustin Poirier was putting the pressure on Gaethje. One thing that happens with Gaethje with his defense, he's not a huge counter striker until you're done. What I mean by that, if I'm Poirier, my partner Jake, I'm coming at him with punches. One thing uh, that Gaethje's known to do is do what we call right here this basic guard cover-up where he just protects himself. He stops, he covers up, and he's looking to block these shots. He made a big career out of this. Eddie Alvarez saw the way through it. Eddie Alvarez saw if I can keep him busy and get him to bring up this guard block, I can come right up the middle with those uh, uppercuts. If I can get him busy and get him to put his hands up, I can change elevation and I can rip to the body. As soon as Eddie Alvarez did this, all the poor he had to know is, okay, listen, wait till he covers up and then start uh, throwing some uppercuts there. Wait till he covers up, start, start throwing some body shots. So he was seeing that. Now the good news, for Gaethje and the bad news for Poirier and the rest of Gaethje's opponents is when, so again, if Jake's throwing punches at me and now I'm being Justin Gaethje, when those punches are coming, he blocks, he blocks, he blocks. As soon as Jake gets done punching, Gaethje says to himself, okay, now it's my turn. And he comes right at that, boom, big Mike, Mike Tyson hooks, boom, he's throwing his uppercuts up his own, boom, he's keeping his opponents busy. And he was leading with that lead leg kick. It's very rare. You know who used to do this? Do you guys remember Kazushi Sakuraba? Sakuraba used to do the same thing. A lot of fighters do it. I'm talking about to generate this kind of power, to be able to turn your hip over and actually wound your opponent. Justin Gaethje would start with a jab and with the lead leg, he would bring the back leg up and he would turn that hip over and he would drive the shin bone right, right into the thigh of his opponent. You saw Poirier in between rounds. You saw him starting to slow down. You saw that during the fight. But in between rounds, he had his leg up. His coaches are on it. The announcers are focused on how many kicks he took. We see it a lot of times with the rear leg kick. We see so much power generated with that rear leg kick. You get to swing it all the way around. It's a very rare tool, and Justin Gaethje has it. He comes out of combinations, boom, with that uh, front leg kick. Guys have got to watch out for it. It's an awesome fight, fight of the night. For me, both guys, thank you. You delivered entertaining match.